Hey, 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 everybody, it's S Cross 1290 coming with you with my second special guest ever. Who are you, Matt. special guest? Marcos. Mm -mm. Marcos. People on YouTube want to know your YouTube ID, not your oh, name. It's... <laughs> I'm, uh, God damn old... it. <laughs> Go for it, why? Old... Beat the crap on old the Old 64, man. Bam. Oh, Ganondorf64, hello, welcome to my Let's Play. Awesome. And that Firefly decided to come charge at me and rape me. Fine. Crazy Bullet Bills, or was it Bill Blaster? Yeah, it's freaking amazing, isn't it? How they can just shoot right there. How are my stomps even working on it? <laughs> I mean, that thing's probably made out of cold orange steel. <clears throat> I mean, jeez. Anyway, guys, in the last episode, we crash landed on Beam Bean on the Beam Bean border, and we got a new mission to go save Bouncer by getting 100 coins. And in this episode, I hopefully could probably get there if I do not get raped by these guys because I suck at their timing <laughs> on the computer. What about you, Margos? Have you seen this? I was playing that game like earlier, and like I don't know, it's crazy how like some of them. Like, oh, I'm gonna take my time, and then, oh, the other one just goes super fast and attacks you. I know. I almost, you Luigi almost died last episode. I was almost scared. <laughs> I better heal Luigi up. Nah, Luigi's gonna be fine. Anyway, <laughs> just gonna clear out some of these <laughs> monsters here, and then go out exploring. So, Super Mario. Like this yes, exactly. Man, I have nothing to talk about while I do this. I'm just making up random words right now. What every elf <laughs> here wants to do. Just tell a story about your childhood. I should. Once upon a time, when I was still in my mother's gut, I saw a bright light. <laughs> and when when I went to the bright light, I saw a, a person, a huge man in a white coat. With and his white name was Dr. Man. I couldn't read back then, so I don't know what his name was. But I think all the kids call him rapist when I was talking with my, my cell phone. <laughs> Alright, let me... Oh, I gotta focus on this. Come on, give me coins. No! Come on, give me coins! Give me your money. Oh, God. Oh, well. <laughs> I've been neglecting this. Oh, no. Not these fools again. Come on, crazy turtles. Or something brothers. The oh, angry yeah. Toadstool brothers. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to read this because they do nothing funny, except bring a huge ass lot of enemies. Hopefully, we get yeah, to fight them all. <laughs> e, uh, someone likes that? music. I don't know. <clears throat> someone else in this Skype conversation with us? No, it's just me and you. Hey, look, I see myself. <laughs> that probably wasn't good for the video, but oh well. All right. Yeah, very yeah. Sorry, Marcos. What do you say? Uh, they look weird, like their necks are super big. I know, they're freaking like, the, their whole body, they, they don't even have <laughs> necks, it's their entire body. <laughs> Is that, like, it part like your teeth or something? Uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess Nintendo was lazy to make good toads, so toads look like full body. Anyway, <laughs> I've been neglecting this long enough, right here we're learning how to do bro brother attack. Basically, what it is is combined moves that they'll show us here that will do extra damage to the enemies. As see here, we'll have to be clicking buttons while they like jump on top of each other and stuff. Right here, this is the Mario Brother attack. Basically, what's going to happen is that Mario's going to jump on Luigi. Luigi's going to throw Mario up in the air. Then Mario's going to do like a badass fly attack, and then Mario's just going to headbutt him to do a shitload of damage. Anyway, as you see down there, we finally got to our um, the number under our health, which is brother points. As you saw earlier, or as you see right here, the number next to the brother points is like four. That means we get like what? That's how much magic we got, or how much it's gonna cost. Yeah, there's not a lot of brother point, a uh, brother moves in this game. There's probably gonna be like three of them or four. I think the fourth one you have to unlock, but you get three of them throughout the game. Yeah, anything you want to comment on this, Marcos? Compared to like flipping uh, the one for the DS's, there's like a ton of them. Crazy. Yeah, the DS. Like, get Sorry. Super fat. Oh yeah, which one for like what? No, not Brothers in Time, the third one, right? Bowser's in 
Side Story. Yeah, I beat that game. I beat all three of them. Dude, I want it. I'm gonna steal it from you. No, Margos, that's why I never bring it to class. <laughs> anyway, right here, this is the last room of the Bean Bean Stardust Field. So we're gonna clear this out real quick. So yeah, we're just gonna beat the crap out of all these monsters with these fireflies and bonsai bullet builds. No, I let that one pass. Did so you see that? Now that bonsai build is gonna threaten the Bean Bean Kingdom. You'll see it like fly around when I'm just running out in the fields. Oh no, spoilers. Oh well. We'll get to the fields eventually. <coughs> Alright, so I guess Margos is having so much excitement right now he can't talk. Just watch me jump on steel cannons. No. No, I do not want that bonus. Um, let's put defense on Mario since I suck at the timing in this game. So yeah, I'm Put on the stash. Put it on stash. Nah, I don't want a super beard too. though. I don't want to have a really long beard. <laughs> the stash makes him more manlier. It does. But yet, Peach will still not give Mario a kiss. Or give Mario a good fun night. No more kissy kissy. No more licky licky in bed. <laughs> uh, inside jokes are fun. And yes, Luigi hit level 4 and Luigi didn't die. Yay, <laughs> Luigi's gonna get some stash power because I want everything of his being the double digits. Yay, Luigi has everything in the double digits, so technically he's stronger than Mario. <laughs> How many coins do you got? Those odd numbers are, are freakish. Yes, odd numbers are the best numbers in the world. No matter what my geometry teacher tells you, odd numbers <laughs> are the best. So yeah, this video is probably going to consist of me just beating the crap out of monsters and stuff. Isn't this fun? Wow, no, no, Mario no. just one shot at that cannon. Mario has like boots of steel. Oh no, the way Jay! Ah, oh, I hate this. I'm not used to this on a keyboard. How they can flip and cause damage to a metal pipe. I know. I guess their flipping suits are that powerful. And I don't know how the freaking bonds I built just goes right through you without no blood or anything <laughs> coming out. I mean, wouldn't that kill me in like one hit? <laughs> Good old Nintendo and their E-rated games. Yes, their E-rated games. Look at this. That would have killed me in real life. <laughs> it would have been like a big hole through me. And wouldn't missiles explode on contact? <laughs> Man, it's... Dude, Patrick Star on the floor. Patrick Star. Yay, more inside jokes. Oh no, I'm lagging. Don't lag on me, computer. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, for the last room here, we just have to do some platforming. Platforming in a, what, turn-based game? Isn't that weird? Anyway, coin box here. Hopefully, you have 100 coins by now. If you do not have more than 100 coins, well, you either... I don't know how. You probably skipped a lot of monsters. You want to fight as or many monsters as you fight. can. Or you're just poor as hell. <laughs> you have no money making skills at all. But yeah, by the time when you do a complete circle, you should have about 120 coins. Oh, 129. I always get 129 after I do this. Hey, Neek! Let's see here. You now have 129 coins, Neek! It took you long <laughs> enough, but we're well, but well done. I'll just take. I'll be taking those coins now. Finally, let me out of here. Ow! That hurt my whole <laughs> throat. Oh, you want out? You want me to help you? Who said I do that? Plot twist, everybody! Ah. And you know what plot twist happens? We now get into our first boss fight. Oh man, big green guy. The big green turtle, Tolstar. Sounds like a final boss name. But anyway, this is our first boss fight of the game, and Luigi took in a lot of hits. Now, I do <laughs> not think I want to do this on level 3. Because I do not trust my... You know what? I'll just do it on level 3. Let's see if I can get this right. Come on. Ooh, 7 damage. Yeah, go Mario. And right here, he does not have any counter-attack moves. So, you do not want to land on what he throws at you. Or else it'll be painful. And apparently I am doing good on this. 
All right, let's just do this. Basically, what you want to do here is just spam your brother attacks, and he'll die eventually. Must you mean you're underestimating yourself? I am underestimating myself since I already got him to the halfway point. When he starts talking like that, you're you got him down halfway. You know what? Screw this. I'm just going to jump on him solo. Yeah, two damage. Now, for a first boss, this dude has a lot of defense. So basically, no matter what your attack is, you'll always be doing two damage, no matter what. Unless I'm completely wrong and my attack just fell. Alright, so... I'm digging his mohawk. Yes, his mohawk is pretty badass. With his turtle shell behind him. Like I said in the last episode, this is the bouncer of the Bean Bean Kingdom. Alright, now he's down to his last phase, where he's gonna be... Throwing those b spike balls above our heads sometimes where you don't want to jump at all or else you're going to take like heavy damage. Anyway, he's almost done here. We got a lucky attack which basically is a critical hit. And basically, if you learn the timing on this guy, he's not that strong at all. So let's just finish this. Get Luigi finish this. No, god dang it Luigi. The weakest brother in the mall. Look at that, Mario had to finish him off. Anyway, we get a whopping 30 experience points and uh, our money back. So yay, we got everything back and Mario hit level 5. And Mario has now double digits, so we're just going to increase. Let's increase his health. Mario needs to be more healthier. He needs to go on a diet. He's a fat Italian plumber. <laughs> ease up on the spaghetti. He needs to ease, ease up on all the cakes Prince of Peach gives him. That's how Princess Peach says thank you, through cakes. That's why Super Mario 64 exists. She's fattening them up. Yes, to eat him later. I mean, give him a hug. Make Mario <laughs> her little teddy bear. Alright, so... Basically, that's it for Sardis Fields. That's the first boss in the game, not too hard, and... What's this? Another plot twist. Looks like the Luigi's um, toad is freaking angry with his grinding his teeth. No. Goodbye, Bowser. Bowser. Must, be, must be comfortable in there. Yes, it and is. And his butt all burned. <laughs> he must be used to it, though. <laughs> Well, now that our first boss is done, and this is the end of Sardis Field, so I don't know how long this video will be, but I'll guess in the next episode we'll see what's throughout this door, and see if we can find Bouncer, and most importantly, see if we can find Peach's voice. So I shall see you on the next episode.